Launch the Altera Quartus software. You should see a screen that looks something like this. Select the file New Project Wizard. You'll see a window that looks something like this. To select the working directory, use the button to browse and select where you want the project to go. Name the project. I've called mine Simple Example. Note that the next field gets filled in automatically. Select Finish. Be sure not to use spaces in file or directory names. Select File, New. A window something like this will open. Select Block Diagram Schematic File and press OK. This should open a pane where you will design your circuit. This pane is designated Block1.bdf. Save this graphic design file as whatever you want in your directory. I've called mine simple example like my project. The file will be given the BDF extension. BDF stands for block design file and contains schematics, symbols, or block diagrams. There's a toolbar on the diagram schematic file pane. To add text to your diagram, select the A from the toolbar. This toolbar is also known as the palette. Select a point near the top left in the window with the left mouse key. Type your text and then hit the Enter key. Hit the Escape key to end text additions. To add a component, click the Library icon. The Symbol dialog box will appear. This window lists the available Altera libraries as seen here. Expand the Libraries folder, then expand the Primitives folder, and finally expand the Logic folder. In the Logic folder, select the component you need by double-clicking on it, or by selecting it with a single click and then selecting OK. I've chosen a NOT gate. Click the pointer at the desired location in the block diagram schematic editor window to insert the symbol into the design file. Repeat these steps to enter any other needed gates. If you wanted to add multiple copies of a single gate, you could select the Repeat Insert Mode box. In the same manner that you placed a gate onto the diagram, add input pins and output pins from the symbol libraries. Input pins can be found under Primitives, Pin, Inputs, and output pins can be found under Primitives, Pin, Outputs. I've added a single input, A in, and a single output, B out. Rearrange your devices in approximately the placement you would like for the logic diagram you're trying to construct. You can move a component by selecting it with your mouse, holding down the left button, and moving it to another location on the palette. Save your design. It's a good idea to save your design often, just in case something bad happens. Save the BDF file with the same name as the project. And again, don't use any spaces in any file names. Now you can begin wiring your circuit. Select the orthogonal node tool. Place your pointer on the output of one of the input pins and hold the left mouse button down. You should see a crosshair or a plus sign appear at the output. Drag your pointer to the input of a gate. Every time you release the mouse key, the line, or the wire, ends. If your wire did not reach the gate, you can add to the wire by putting your mouse over an end of the wire and again selecting it with your left mouse button and dragging your mouse to another position. 
Don't run wires along the edge of a device. This can cause simulation problems. Don't leave inputs and outputs right next to the chips. Make sure you can actually see some wire between them, otherwise you may have simulation problems. Make sure you don't make the wire too long. If you drag it too far, you'll see an X, and this is considered an open connection and your design won't compile. To delete a wire, or a portion of a wire, simply click on it. It should change color to indicate selection and then press the delete key. If wires are connected to a component as you move it, the wires will drag and stay connected to that component. This is referred to as rubber banding and is a feature of all major schematic entry design packages. You can turn rubber banding on and off using the rubber banding tool. Add the rest of the wires needed to connect the logic diagram. When you're done drawing, save your diagram. Now you can choose the programmable device that you want to use for your design. Select Assignments, Device from the pull-down menu. Select a family from the family pull-down list. I've chosen the Max 7000S family. Select the specific device selected and then choose a specific device. Select OK. I've chosen the EPM 7064 SLC44-10, which is the device that I'll be using. You'll need to compile your design to ensure that you do not have any errors in your circuit. For example, that you don't have any open connections. Click on Processing Compiler Tool to start compilation, then click Start. If the compilation completes with no errors, you're done. If there are errors, then try and look at the error messages and figure out what needs to be changed.